chapter 3, verse 19. Acts, the third chapter, and the 19th verse. Read them. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Repent ye therefore. Repent me and change your ways. You got to stop doing what you do. Out here shopping on the Sabbath. If you're celebrating Easter, Halloween, all these pagan holidays, that's wrong according to the Bible. Okay, if you're breaking the laws of God, that's wrong according to the Bible. That's totally wrong according to the Bible. It's against God. It's totally against God. Your pastors aren't teaching these things. Your pastor, your pastor's not even teaching the laws of God. What is, is he telling you how to live a righteous lifestyle? No, he's not. You don't even know what a righteous lifestyle is. You don't even know your nationality. Let's start there. A lot of people nowadays call themselves black folk when black is a color. Black is a color. We're different shades of brown. So check that out. What's your nationality? You ask 10 different people, they're going to give you 10 different answers. So it's time to repent and change your ways. You tried the Christian church, the Baptist church. All that was set up by the Roman Catholics. The Pentecostal church. It all was set up by the Roman Catholics. The same churches, the same uh, system that, that uh, uh, molest little boys. All of them. But you don't even want to deal with your nationality. Because we're not a religion, we're a nation. When you read the Bible, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, you are of the nation of Israel. You are the greatest people on the planet. But some of you don't want that. And the ones that don't want that, guess what? We know you don't want it. And you're going to be destroyed. Because these are the last days Make according sure to the like Bible. Turn. Look at all the earthquakes going on in this earth. No, Look at all the so-called natural disasters. You think that that's about a coincidence? That's an act from God. Give me Matthew 24th chapter. You think that's a coincidence? We're about to, the Christ is about to make his second return. And people out here, not without, without a care of the world, don't even realize what's about to happen to them. Don't even realize what's about to happen to them. And a lot, of our, a lot of our older generation, because they're stuck in their ways, they will be destroyed when, I, when, I, when Christ makes his second return. Give me what you got. Let's start at verse 20. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? So now you had disciples, they wanted to know what? When these things shall be, that was the question was about to prophesy about. Read on. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And when shall be the sign of thy coming? Read on. And of the end of the world. And of the end of the world. Because right now, check out what's going on in the society today. We're at the end of the world. You don't want to believe that? Look at what's going on. Open up your newspapers. Open up the business section. The end of the world is here. The end of the world is here as we speak. So you act like you don't realize it. You go home and you masquerade it with music, with entertainment, and with shopping. You check that out. Read on. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Don't let no man deceive you. A lot of these pastors are deceiving our people. Here it is. They're telling you. got a lot of these pastors like Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes. What are they telling you to do? They're prosperity preachers. Oh, love America. How the hell are you going to love a place that oppresses our people every day, all day? Shoots them, shoots them in the back. Puts them in jail illegally. How are you going to trust in this country? Think about that. Look at what they did to our brothers down in Louisiana. But you want you, you think God is blessing this country? Oh no, he's not. This country is cursed. It's cursed for destruction. Look at the, look at the market now. You know I'm telling the truth. Read on. For many shall come in my name, saying I am Christ. You have many coming in the Most High's name, saying they are they are Christ. You have these so-called white people saying they're Christians. They're not Christians. You're the real Christians. You're the real ones that should be following the ways of Christ. Read on. And shall deceive many, and they shall deceive many. Because guess what? Now they got you believing this white image. You understand what I'm saying, brother? They got our people believing that Christ is this image right here. But when you read the Bible, Christ is this color. You understand what I'm saying? Because the white man put himself up as the Most High, as the angels, and as Christ. Now our people believe that Christ was a so-called white man. And, and check this out. And when you try to explain to them that Christ was a man of color just like them, they get offended. You know why? Because they they hate themselves. We have self-hatred towards each other. Check that out. Look in your neighborhoods. You don't call that self-hate the way our, our neighborhoods are? 
You don't call that self-hate? That is self-hate to the highest degree. To not want to acknowledge that Christ was a so-called was, was a so-called black man, that is hating yourself. So you can understand. That's the, that, that's the most blessed thing we can have. We don't have anything else. The jobs suck. Our communities suck. They're terrible. The only thing we got is Christ. So you better believe that Christ is a so-called black man as according to the scriptures. Because he is. Read on. And you shall, and you shall hear wars and rumors of war. Look at all the wars. Look at the rumors of wars that's going on today in this world. Iran, Iraq, right? Talk about Persia. Over there in, in uh, Russia. Russia and Georgia over there war. Georgia the country, not Georgia the state. Okay, then they got wars over there in Africa. Wars uh, in America. Who, are, uh, who is in America fighting with? So read that again. And you shall hear wars and rumors of war. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Don't you have wars and rumors of wars going on every day when you turn the news? Read on. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. So the way, the, as, as bad as the earth looks today, all these things must come to pass. Read on. But the end is not yet. We're still not at the end of this thing. It's only the beginning. Wait till it hits America. See, the so-called black man is comfortable in his captivity. That's why the Most High is going to start coming to destroy places like Newark. Because the Most High is moving the so-called blacks out of Newark as we speak. Check it out. They built a hockey arena over here, right? You just seen somebody. Look, there goes another one. Look at him. Your enemy is checking it out. Look, look behind you. Look, look at him. You understand what I'm saying? Look, 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 look at him. Don't be afraid. Look at him. The so-called white man is taking over Newark. He wants Newark. He's taking Newark. And there's nothing that the so-called black man can do about it. Nothing at all. None whatsoever. Examine it. Examine what's going on in your community. We are being invaded, invaded in our own community by the white race. They did it in Brooklyn. They did it in Harlem. Now they're going to do it in Newark. What's the so-called black man going to do about it? Nothing. Because the so-called black man is a coward. He's still under his woman. He's still sleeping on his mother's couch. He's still mooching off his woman. He's a coward. When the so-called black man comes back to God, when the so-called Hispanic man comes back to God, then everything else falls into place. Look at all these churches in, in, in society today. What are they filled with? Women. Women and weak, effeminate men. And the ones that are effeminate, the they're sleeping with the with who? The woman in the congregation. That's what they're doing. Read on. All these things. The, verse Psalm 7. For nations shall rise against nations. So nations shall rise against nations. Look at what's going on with Iraq and America. Look at what's going on with Iran and America. Look at what's going on with Georgia and Russia. Nations shall rise against nations. Read on. And kingdom against kingdom. And kingdom against kingdom. Same thing. Read on. And there shall be famine and pestilence. There's famines in this country right now. Over in the Midwest. Down south. You had in the Midwest. What happened in the Midwest? Floods in the summer. All the crops were destroyed. All the crops were destroyed. Check that out. And that brother got a question out? I desire. I desire. 